Hey everyone, it's Haiti. Um, one moment, I forgot one thing. All nighter spray. Alrighty. Um, so this video is kind of a request. Um, I. Somebody had asked me what I use, do I always kick off my makeup, a whole lot of stuff. And I figure I should answer with this video. Because a few people ask me what do I use. And even though I kind of say what I use for like tutorials, um, and like my very first video on here was a full drag tutorial, I still get asked uh, what I use. Um, you know, it's a valid question, I guess, because not everyone's going to watch all my videos or watch that video or whatever. Um, but yeah, so in a moment I'm going to be popping into the corner while you see me putting on my makeup. And it is a pain in the ass because <laughs> I filmed it in real time and so that, you know, ate up all the memory on my SD card on my camera. So, yeah, so I got to talk about it kind of quickly. I got to edit that down. But yeah, so let's start. As you can see, I have already covered my brows. And just to cover them, I used Spirit Gum. I used Spirit Gum. And no then scar wax. That's what I usually use. Um, I was trying out spirit gum and glue stick. That works kind of well. Um, like uh, my drag mother, Mystique, she uses glue stick and liquid bandage. Glue stick and spirit gum, basically the same thing. Um, but I don't know. I never had luck with the liquid bandage and glue stick. So I didn't really go for that. Um, I'm going to start off with foundation. Right, so for foundation, um, I started off with my highlight foundation, which I used to use uh, Derma Blend Cover Cream, but I actually was very low on that and I had to buy something new. So I got uh, MAC Full Coverage in NW20 Full Coverage Foundation. Uh, I had an accident with this one and my other one, my other foundation, they kind of melted and yeah, so I had to try to fix it, but yeah. So I use NW20 Full Coverage Foundation for my highlight. Um, that's a bit like, that's like $30 for the Full Coverage Foundation. Um, and for my... For my, I want to say regular foundations, um, my skin tone foundation, I do still have Derma Blend Cover Cream. Um, this is like $35. For my contour foundation, um, I was using uh, Kiss. I was using this KISS Advanced Formula Cover Care just because um, it was very dark black girl foundation. <laughs> Actually um, one of my drag sisters who's black, um, she uses that for her foundation. So yeah, and you can find it at like the wig shop. Um, but I started using NW50 Full Coverage Foundation. Um, basically the same color. This one's probably a little bit lighter. $30 like the other one. And you might be asking why the hell did I spend so much money on foundation. Um, the thing is, I wanted the best coverage. Um, and I could have gone with Kryolan TV Paint Stick. But, I don't know, I can't really uh, 
color match myself correctly online because you know colorings of each computer screen are a bit slight off so if I get the wrong color if I get this color I'm thinking it's um, a pink undertone it's a yellow undertone I'm going to look sick so yeah but um, honestly I've been using this little guy this is derma blend um, it's it's this it's just a smaller size I've been using this almost let's say every once a week every week for over a year and I still have some um, I don't know if that is due to um, it being so high coverage so pigmented that I could I don't have to use as much or because I do use another, another foundation on the other part of my face. So like half of my face is highlight, half of my face is my skin, and then I just put my darker foundation over top. Alright, so after foundation I powdered and well, um, I use two Where's the other one? To set my face, um, for the highlight area, I well, I use the same powders, um, brand, I mean. They are both Cody Airspun Loose uh, Face Powder. Um, I have one in Naturally Neutral, and the other one is in Suntan. Suntan is a little bit orangey, kind of warm. Um, it's not really translucent. It does have a bit of a tint. It's kind of orangey, but not like way crazy orange. Um, it does work if you are in the cooler skin tones, cooler being the pinker skin tones. Um, don't get it twisted. Just because Mac mixed theirs up does not, does not compute. When I want a bolder contour, I use my LA Colors Dark Loose Powder. And I also used uh, this blush from MAC, uh, MAC Blunt. Well, it's just called Blunt from MAC, whatever. It's a blush. I usually use this all the time, um, either if I'm doing the fishy look or if I'm doing a harsher drag look. I always use that. Um, I use it basically for like a transitional color from my blush to my contour even though I don't put on my blush until after I'm done with my eyes. When I am not using the dark loose powder when I want a fishier look I use my Chanel Notorious Sculpting Powder. I really love this. Um, I wish it was not a limited item because I don't know what I'm going to do without this. But LA Colors Dark loose powder is like a dollar fifty, so yeah. And the uh, blunt is twenty bucks, I think. Um, let's see. From there, I started doing my eye for my eyebrows. I use this LA Color pencil. It doesn't have um, the color name on it because I bought it with. I bought like a set of two. It's a light brown. I feel like lip pencils are easier to glide through over like the glue and wax stuff. And I set it with another Urban Decay color. This color here, it is Tease in the Naked 2 palette. I just got this not too long ago. Um, it is kind of a light warm brown. Um, you can't really tell, but it made my eyebrows not so dark, even though the further I back up, the darker they look. But they're not that dark. I don't know. I like to match my eyebrows as close as possible to my wig, if I'm not going to be wearing like multiple wigs of different colors or something. Like, I love when I wear my red wig, and I would have red eyebrows. I love it. And I love girls who do that, who match their eyebrows to their wig. 
well, almost every eye look, unless I forget, I always use my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I used to use e.l.f. Primer, that's like three bucks. And this one cost me 20 bucks. I, for my eyebrow highlight, eyebrow bone highlight, I use this color from Urban Decay. It is Venus. It is like one of my favorite highlights ever now. Um, I used to always use an Inglot one, which was very close to Foxy actually. Super, super, like, they are the same almost. Foxy, Foxy might be like teensy, 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 teensy bit darker, but they are the same. Because I wanted a white lid, so I used Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil uh, for a bit. Then I used my Inglot White Eyeshadow, which is Matte 318. Um, it is from the Freedom System. I have a few of these, so I just pulled it out for you. It's uh, Matte 318. It is white. Um, I don't know. Just... It's not this eyeshadow, it's like every white eyeshadow I ever tried. They're always not pigmented enough for me. Um, I know I have some friends who told me to try like Ben Nye white eyeshadow, but I don't know. I don't know. But I used this eyeshadow here, which is Swiss Chocolate by MAC. Um, I just wanted something really warm. Um, and it was, I don't remember how much MAC eyeshadows are. I think they're about $15 now. I did put a, a transition color. Um, this is Inglot Matte 328. Um, it may not look it, but this is very close to my skin tone, maybe closer to my highlight color than, than my skin eh. but when I put it on my eyes it, it just looks like a skin tone which it's kind of um it's really good to have a um eyeshadow that um it, that is your skin tone close to your skin tone it helps blend transition colors it just it makes things easier to have an eyeshadow that is your skin tone then I got a crease brush, um, put more uh, Swiss chocolate in my crease and blended that. For the black eyeshadow, I used um, Inglot AMC 63. It is a matte black. My absolute favorite, 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 favorite black has to be my NYX black. This is the blackest eyeshadow I have ever used. I had bought MAC Carbon because, you know, it's MAC Carbon. So it's supposed to be really black. MAC Carbon sucks. I hate MAC Carbon. Like, you can't tell from those, but I hate MAC Carbon. Um, it's useful sometimes, but not when I want black eyeshadow. It's useful when I'm trying to darken something, but not make something black. The gel eyeliner I am using is, oh, there it is, is Essence Gel Eyeliner. It is like $3.50, I want to say. I got a Ulta. It's cheap. I love it. Way, way, way better than e.l.f. Cream Liner. That's what I used to use. Um... I used a little bit of white eyeliner. I can't really tell. That's why I don't use it. I have not used that pencil in so long. Anyway. Okay. For my lashes, I use a pair that I customize out of a pair of 40, a pair of 74, and a pair of 301 that I cut. This is my favorite blush probably because I spent so much on it. But it is Tom Ford Narcissist. And... My drag sister made fun of me. She's like, what's the name? Narcissist. Yeah, that sounds about right. Whatever, girl. Anyway, this was expensive. I th 
$59, $60 after tax. This is like my most expensive purchase. It's my favorite blush. But also, um, I have uh, La Femme Blush On Rouge. And this is in Fuchsia. And they misspelled Fuchsia. So I'm like, what the hell? But I love this blush too. I usually wear this a lot. Um, not lately, of course. This, it's a Estee Lauder uh, Illuminating Powder Gelée. I love this thing. I love this thing so much. But when it came out, it sold out quickly. And I missed out. And I wanted it so bad. Well, they came out with another one, but it was a different color. And it's very um, orangey, bronzy. We put it on, it looks like you've been sunburnt. Which, which is like sun-kissed. I kind of like it. But I wanted the color he showed in the first one. Well, MAC, which is owned by S.A. Lauder, came out with um, Extra Dimension Collection, and it had Extra Dimension Skin Finish. And this is superb. And I love this. It is the same exact thing as the Estee Lauder one, which I did end up eventually getting at... Um, See the cosmetic company store, which you need to go to. They're out the premium outlets anywhere. Go to your premium outlet out uh, premium outlet website and see if they have the cosmetic company store. Usually, everybody just refers to it as CCO. I don't know why, because CCO is something else. Like it's like right next to it. CCO is like. The perfume one, so I don't know, but anyway, I got it for cheap. I got it for 28 bucks. This thing was like 40 bucks when it came out. This was like 23 dollars from Mac. They might, I know they came out with it again in another collection, and they might come out with it again in some other collection. They need to make it permanent because this is amazing. And thank God I have the Estee Lauder one because I won't run out for a long time because I use this almost every time. I love it. it. It gives you that nice glow, shine, dewiness. Um, and finally, my lips. Um, I just used um, my NYX lip liner in Bloom. I love NYX lip liners. These are usually what I get always. <laughs> um, and I, in the video, you see me drawing them crazy. I wiped that off and I fixed it because I look weird. I look like some kind of weird, um, Roxy Detox Hybrid Baby. <laughs> That's what I thought of when I saw those lips. Anyway, this lip liner. It's kind of like my favorite lip liner, which is Deep Purple from NYX, which I can't seem to find. And then I just use a lip brush with uh, MAC Candy Yum Yum, which is one of my favorite, 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 favorite pink lipstick. It's one of my favorite pink lipstick. It's one of my top pink lipsticks. I love obnoxious pink lipsticks. The only other lipsticks that I found that would like this that I actually got before because I want a candy yum yum is this. It is NYX Shocking Pink. This is my favorite um, budget friendly lipstick. It is like the same color. It does have a little bit more blue in it. It looks exactly the same actually in camera pictures. Um, I could tell it's different when I see the tubes, but they look the same once they're on. I love them. Love them, love them, love them, love them, love them. And then, of course, finally, uh, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Always use it um, just in case I over powder my face. It sets my makeup. It takes away the powdery look. Um, so I could just go out all night, party my ass off, and look not like a complete total mess. Because 
Before I found this, I looked like a wreck at the end of the night. But thanks to this, I don't. I did it. It's so beautiful. It's, it's so bad. Say that happens to me in my life. I know Elf has a setting, setting spray. Um, one of my friends, she says she uses it every day. So, yeah, maybe she says she likes it. Um, she has tried the all-nighter spray. I guess they're comparable. I don't know. I just got this because um, I got it on sale. So, whatever. I don't need to justify myself. Um, I think that's it. I don't know. Very long video. And I'm going to edit so much. Um, well, I hope this helped somebody. Maybe. If not, oh well. You got to see me put on my makeup once again. Um, and I hope you like this look. Because I'm really feeling it. I'm not a big fan of white eyeshadow. Because it is so crappy. Because I, well, I can't seem to get it to work. But I, I don't know. I kind of got it to do something. Maybe... I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to leave you. Um, I have a lot of editing to do, obviously. It's a, I bet it's going to be a long video because I spoke a lot in it. If I don't split it up in two parts, well, you'll see. All right, well, this is Haiti. Until I see you um, next time. I'm sorry that I haven't gotten back to the My Little Pony tutorials. I tried. I, I tried to do Fluttershy and I hate it how I did it. You know, it's just like when I try to do uh, Rainbow Dash, I hate it how I did it too. So yeah, I'm sorry that I'm still missing three ponies. I'll get to them. I swear I'll get to them. Um, maybe before season four? Hopefully. Well, until next time, um, I'm Haiti. Love you. Um, hashtag get into it. Ah, love you. Bye. Hi guys, sorry that I look crazy. I forgot to put in that the mascara I used was your new look. Uh, your show new look. Um, I just recently got this. I like it a lot for drag. It is very um, sticky and clumpy and it just helps stick my big lashes and my, my own natural na lashes together. Uh, I was using the Clump Crusher by CoverGirl. Um, I like that as well. I actually used that um, for guy looks. But yeah. Um, okay, so that was it. Um, just forgot the mascara. Um, lashes? Lashes. Lashes? Lashes? Lashes. Lashes. Okay, for my lashes.